So what is the ADC example? Well, this circuit shows you how to read an analog value with all digital electronics. So we have the variable resistor at the top here, and as I rotate it left and right, it reads the voltage and it changes the LED display. So you can see it goes up and down as I crank the resistor around. So this is kind of a cool little circuit. When you build it, you have to make sure you have switch one in the one position. We actually use that switch to pull up the power supply. So another note is that the variable resistor has very big leads. If you insert it into the breadboard, I've highlighted in rectangles there the points that I put it in at. Um, it actually damages the breadboard a little in that if you take another small part like a resistor lead and put it in those holes It's now too loose to make reliable contact. You can see it just flops around um, Where when I put it in one of the other holes it sort of inserts and you can feel it's grabbed in this one There's just no hold So if you choose to insert it in the breadboard you can I suggest you mark those holes so you know where it was and just always put it in that same spot and it's fine and there's other things you'll run into that have big leads so it doesn't hurt to have a designated spot to be using that so then when you have it in the breadboard like that um, it's even more secure so you saw before I had to hold the wires on it and there we can just gently turn it up and down and hey look at that it's kind of a cool light display so this is showing you how to build a circuit that's actually um, reading the value using this LM339 comparator chip. When you put the comparator chip in, make sure you pay attention to the location of that notch. That notch dictates where pin 1 is. So if you look at the integrated circuits that came in your kit, you'll notice that notch exists on all of them and it's showing you where pin 1 is. So there's also a circle. That circle means nothing that's in the middle of the chip at the other side. That notch is what you really need to pay attention to and make sure you put it in the right spot. Um, another thing you might be interested in is my resistors are all really nice and flat when I've built it here. So I've actually cut the leads down. It's up to you if you want to cut some of them. You might want to cut a few of them. So I pull one out there to show you that I've had to trim them down. Um, if you don't cut them down, they'll all be sticking up. And you want to be very careful you don't have any shorts. It's easy to have a few touch that will stop your circuit from working. Um, again, it's totally your choice. I always suggest, you know, maybe pick some of your resistors to cut down because you're going to be using using them a lot and it's convenient to have them in sort of a, a nicer form factor. You can see there how it's sticking up. So if you have all of them sticking up, it sort of gets to be a bit of a hassle. All right, so the next thing is when you go to make the project in ISE, um, it's pretty standard. There's a full schematic on the wiki. The, the one thing that's a little different is some of the switch pins I'm actually using as output so it overrides the switch position and that's fine it completely ignores it um, so to do this there's a few things you have to change these markers to output so there'll be default of input because we're reading the switches and we change it to output you also have to delete what is the I buff so you can see in the switch two there there's a part and it's called I buff and in the I.O. category, we need to place an O buff part there. Um, so on the other side, we actually ended up having to rotate them around like that. But you want to be careful because we we don't want that. We want the switches. We want the buffer to be reading from our circuit and outputting to the pin. So you need to change both the O buff and the output polarity of the switches. So there you go. You can see I've put it the correct way around this time. So those are the two own, the real only tricks of this one. Um, and you, everything else is pretty standard. You can wire it up following, following the schematic and paying careful attention as always to which parts to use. So hopefully you have good luck and enjoy the project. Thanks guys.